The outcry from electorates in Mukush North constituents on lagging behind in terms of development due to delay to start and complete approved CDF projects is loud and clear and voices are restless. The recent visit by UPND Secretary General Batuka Emenda revealed more loopholes with regards to utilization of CDF. The bone of contention was on several incomplete 2022 CDF projects and the fact that monitoring was not on course as evidenced by what was in the presented report and what was on the ground during site's visit. So when you go down through out, you find slab level, window level, slab level, window level, slab level, 80%, 80%, 80%, 40%, 45%, number 9, 100%, this is completion of a brushing book. Number 10, 80%. Very few completed projects, and we are talking about 2022, meaning the 2023 is way, way behind. What we are explaining to the Zambian people someone, somewhere is not doing his job for you people that are looking at this. Is this at a slab? No, so meaning the council is not supervising projects we have that vehicle written cdf that vehicle should have gone around to give us a clear picture of what's going on <coughs> but well, this is the false report for example in kalubula an approved 2022 cdf project to construct a health post has not yet started as revealed by paul gajelo a ward development committee treasurer in inkulumashua ward but we have a local party now about 280,000 in a one clinic. Then you look for Mako, a mobile approved by Isaiah, Okonka, a poor Ile and the project. I let we have a quality, a ma contractors, it about a Monica, Kufma last year, the number. And because of this, residents have continued to travel 15 kilometers to Nyenje for medical attention. Why are CDF projects taking long to start and complete? What is the effect of such on development? Who is behind this or simply where is the problem? These are some of the questions electorates would ask if given a chance, and that is having the access to information law Joseph Siambi reporting for Ask ATI Project in Mokushi.